Hi, I'm Les Logan, and today we're going to talk about Grasshopper here on Your Spine Corrector. Welcome to OnlinePilatesClasses.com, the most supportive Pilates-loving community across the globe. Enjoy new weekly classes from our amazing teachers. Download the OnlinePilatesClasses.com app today. So Grasshopper, it doesn't happen in a lot of places in our Pilates practice, but it does happen in some, and it is an amazing exercise. It's going to challenge everything. It's going to challenge your lift and your reach and your extension. So this is not something you do if you're new. If you're new to back bend, you've got something on your lower back, this is not the exercise you practice your back bends on. This is the exercise you use to challenge your back bends. And it may even be an exercise that you don't get for a really, 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 really long time. So if you're here because of the online pliesclasses.com barrels flashcard deck, and you're looking at this going, I don't think so yet, I want you to look at the related mat and reformer exercises and the complementary exercises that are in that deck and see what else you could do and really build your practice up to it. If you don't have our flashcard deck yet, get it. It's so amazing. It's so fun to nerd out, to class and session plan, to create circuits with, to take with you, to create a mat or a spine corrector workout before your mat practice. There's a lot you can do with all of our decks. All right. So grasshopper, um, you can do it on the reformer. You can do it on the ladder barrel and you can do it on your spine corrector. Yes, there's some people could kind of create a version of it on the mat, but that's not really where it's at. Um, you're kind of just doing beats. So, um, so you'll do your spine corrector. It's done at the end of a series. So after rocking, you kind of like drape over the spine corrector or give a good stretch, and then you would set up for it. So if I had done my rocking, I would actually, like I could sit back child's pose, I could drape, and then I'm going to slide a little bit forward and have my hands underneath my shoulders, just like I would for the reformer. Then I'm gonna reach my tailbone for my heels and I'm gonna spin my inner thighs up and then I'm gonna do a push up. So I'm actually gonna pull my elbows back and my chest towards the mat and my legs go up. And then I'm gonna bend my knees, reach them up to the sky and beat, 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 beat. Now my equipment slipped a little bit, so I'm gonna set, reset myself. That does happen. You may, if you find it slipping a lot, you might need a sticky pad what I was doing as going to a little too slow and I was pushing my arms too much forward and that kind of pushed the, the barrel away. So sometimes it's not the equipment, it's you. All right. So let's try that. I'm gonna go a little bit faster. So I'm going to go chest, lift, reach and beat. All right. So it's almost like you're bending at your femurs. It's tempting to bend at the knees, but you want to think rocking here. So if I'm rocking, I've got to really bend at my, the middle of my thigh, not my knees to try to touch my head. By the way, that is not the goal. All right. So you're doing like a little push up, um, a, a rocking, and then your seal beats all the way down. Cool. We'll do one more so you can get that. So that I have extension in my chest and reach. Now, can I get my legs straight up over my hips? Someday that's the goal, but not if I'm dumping in my lower back. So think like the reverse of jackknife, right? Um, slow and steady ish, learn the pieces and then pick up the pace. And each rep I get in my head is like, oh, I could have done this better. Oh, I could have done this better. So each rep allows you to get deeper into the practice. Try not to be so perfectly controlly over it because you will slide on your barrel. You will go into your lower back. Your body isn't, the phasic muscles are not destined to like hold on to you as you slowly figure out this grasshopper. Move your legs, think hip circles, take that rhythm and move with it. Um, again, a really great way to challenge the back bends you have, not teach the back bends you have, okay? Just like hip circles. It's not there to teach your teaser, it's there to challenge what you've connected to. If you have questions about this, put it in the comments below. If you're an onlinepliesclass.com member, make sure you check in with us in the community. I would love to hear how you're using your spine corrector to support your mountain reformer practice. If you'd like to be an onlinepliesclass.com member, check out onlinepliesclass.com slash YouTube.